I've come to the Port of Avonmouth in Bristol to have a look round Cruising Maritimes Marco Polo. Here at the reception, the absolute centre of the ship and great help and assistance from the guys here at the reception desk for you. This is the Captain's Club, an absolutely fantastic spot for a morning coffee or just a casual chat at any time during the day. This is the Marco Lounge on board. You can see absolutely plenty of seating for everybody, all with a fantastic view of the stage there behind me. This is the Palm Court. I particularly like this area. It's lovely and light and airy as you can see by the large windows that we've got. And it's just a nice area to sit and uh, relax during your voyage. Probably my favourite bar on board. It might only be small, the Columbus Lounge, but it's just got a lovely, lovely feel to it. I like the bar area, comfy seating, and just a really intimate feel, which is particularly special, I think. Walking around during the day on a cruise ship is always quite difficult. Scott's Bar here on board doesn't probably become one of my favourite areas of the ship but I've no doubt in the evening when the entertainment's on and the dancing starts it becomes a completely different place. Not looking at his best on a uh, December day in the port of Bristol but you can imagine on a lovely sunny day swimming in the pool and relaxing around the deck on board here Marco Polo. Marco's Bistro at the back of the ship just adjoining the pool, super area for lunch, lovely feel to it, spacious, airy and a nice buffet laid up for you if you fancy not eating in the restaurant. This is the Waldorf restaurant on board Marco Polo and probably my favourite part of the ship. I really do like the feel of the restaurant and particularly like these American diner style seating areas right by the, uh, by the windows on board but it's just got a lovely airy feel to it and just a really super area for your dining every evening on board. So that's the public areas, now let's have a look down at some cabins. So the deluxe ocean view on board, plenty of spacious lounge area, furnishings, mm, not that great to be fair, maybe a bit tired for a, for a suite, but plenty of space for you. cabins on board this is probably my favorite probably nicer even than the higher grade categories this is a junior suite ocean view super bed nice big seating area bathroom and also very rare don't often see it on board you've even got a, a large large dressing room here so super cabin this one if you're lucky enough to get it well there we are there's our look around the Marco Polo and what are my thoughts well firstly it's not a brand new ship it's not glitzy glamorous it's not got glass elevators it's an older ship, 
Furnishings and things are fine, no issues with that whatsoever. It's got some lovely warm intimate areas and of course the fab thing on these smaller ships is you will see the same passengers, you will see the same staff that will know what you drink, they'll know what you eat, they'll know what wine you like. So some lovely things you'll find on these smaller ships that you just will never get on the larger ones. So Marco Polo for your next cruise. I think if you like that sort of feel, you'll have a super time on board this vessel. And if I'd like to pick some highlights out on board, I would certainly pick out the Waldorf restaurant, which I thought was particularly special. And also the Columbus Lounge, right midships, lovely warm feel to the area, nice little bar tucked away to the side, and nice place to seat around that globe. So Marco Polo gets a thumbs up from me.